you read in the title of this week's video, I will be taking you all along a day in the life of a college student studying journalism. For this video, I'll be showing you a whole 24 hours approximately of me going through the process of reporting for a videography assignment that I had due this week. I thought it would be super fun to show you guys a little bit of what that looks like if any of you are interested in pursuing journalism or are just interested in seeing a little bit of a perspective of a college student. I hope this video helps you out or is at least entertaining. And without further ado, let's get into this video. I try to wake up by at least 10 a.m. on the later end, but I need my morning coffee, so I started off my morning with that. And I also ended up making myself uh, some yogurt with homemade granola that I had made previously. After taking a shower, I had some science notes that I had to catch up on, so I did that, and then I got ready to go reporting for the day. I got all my equipment together, and then I was ready to hit the streets. It's super windy today, so I hope you all can hear me but I am heading out to go um, interview the general manager of a nearby bowling place. I have my camera equipment, my camera, my mic, uh, batteries, and I have my tripod that I just got from Amazon. I'll link that down below for anyone interested or curious. Um, but right now it's like, 12.50 and I scheduled the interview for around 1 so I might get there a little bit late but here I go. Wish me luck. Since I don't have my car on campus, I walk pretty much everywhere I go and this includes when I go out reporting. Luckily this location was close enough where it was only a short 15 minute walk and it was an amazing day. got to my location pretty much on time and I set up all of my equipment and got to filming. After conducting all of my interviews and getting some b-roll, I started taking down all of my equipment and got ready to head back to my apartment. successful reporting hour. I ended up taking quite a large detour, so a bit of a longer walk back to my apartment, but honestly, past two parks, so pretty, and it's a little warm out today, but it's nice overall, so I consider it a win. I started making myself some lunch. I just had some leftover pasta from the night before and then I got ready to start editing. In the heart of downtown Phoenix lies Lively Lanes at 810 Billiards and Bowling, a new venue that has been open at Cityscape since August of 2021. I just finished the first part of editing for this video for my videography class and so far so good um, I am very glad that I started editing today because me and my boyfriend Cole are actually going to go back to the bowling place 
to go bowling and this will be a perfect time to grab any last minute b-roll that I wasn't able to get when I initially went earlier today. Editing so far has gone really well. The assignment is pretty short. It's a minute and 15 to a minute and 30 seconds so I wasn't expecting editing to take that long. Um, I'm really happy with it so far and I am very excited to go back and get some more up close b-roll of me and Cole uh, playing bowling. <laughs> Not playing bowling, bowling. Anyways, um, I will see you guys then. So my boyfriend Cole and I ended up going back to the bowling alley for our date night that week and while we were there I got some subpar b-roll for the video. <laughs> I had gotten back home from my date, I decided, you know what, I'm going to finish editing this video tonight and submit it. So I first put in all of my interviews, also known as A-roll. Then earlier I had recorded my voiceover and put that in as well. And then I really wanted to show you guys that I made this cool little animated title at the bottom of the screen for one of my interview subjects and I thought it was really neat and fit the theme of bowling very well. at night I have submitted my video assignment for the week for my journalism videography class and I have to say I'm pretty content with it I'm really glad I got to bring you guys along on this project and show you a bit of some of the things that might be assigned to an average journalism student I'm especially glad that I got to do this in a whole 24-hour period Sorry, there's people out by the pool screaming. I don't know if you can hear it. Wow, they are being really loud. Anyways, I was especially glad that I could accomplish all of this in only 24 hours, um, just to make this video shorter for you guys. You know, looking back when I first started taking journalism classes and I was first interested in reporting, thinking of completing a video story in only 24 hours or less seemed incredibly daunting. But now, looking back, I mean today I made a minute and 30 package in less than 24 hours. I reached out to the business last night at around 10 o'clock at night, which was extremely late and last minute, but luckily they took it and I got to go there and film today and edit all in one day and now it's done. What I'm trying to get at is that, you know, if you continue something and you grow, it's so satisfying to see how far you've come and I'm getting to that point where that is my reality. I definitely still don't think classical journalistic reporting is in my future career-wise, but I admire people so, so much for doing broadcast reporting. It is so much work. <laughs> All in all, I am very, very happy and content with the project that I made for this week for my videography class, and I am so, so glad I could bring you all along with me to show you a bit of my life as a journalism student. All right, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I forgot to put in the actual final results of the video, so without further ado, here's the completed project. In the heart of downtown Phoenix lies Lively Lanes at 810 Billiards and Bowling, a new venue that has been open at Cityscape since August of 2021. The staff at 810 say that the venue will offer a lot to the downtown area. I think it's just like an overall, just an amazing venue. Okay, so it's like a bougie place. Like the environment, like they got a bull, being the fun. That's for sure the fun. General Manager Joe Beach and staff also say that billiards and bowling is more than just your standard lanes and pool tables. Uh, the thing is, is a lot of people get like taken back sometimes just by our name, just being like billiards and bowling and thinking we're just a standard 30 lane venue. 
but then they come in here and they see like the three different bars with the arcade, the mechanical pool, all the board games that we offer. Like you can come in and just like sit down with a group of friends and pay, play Monopoly for a couple hours and get full service while doing that. Like not too many places offer that kind of like open broad spectrum of fun. But um, I know the, the thing that stands out is the people, the energy. It's definitely different, that's for sure. We, we really cater to like if you say what market, I say all markets. <laughs> you can find 810 located at 50 West Jefferson Street in downtown Phoenix. For Cronkite News, I'm Madison Young reporting. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, let me know. I've been making a lot of cooking content, but if you all want to see more student content or journalism kind of things, I am here for that. So just let me know in the comments below, and I got you. With that being said, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you stuck around. Thank you so much, and please subscribe if you have not already to see more content every single week. I have been working super hard to provide as much content as possible, and it's been such a blast and I'm so happy to have you guys along with me. Thank you all so much again. I am going to get ready for bed and just chillax for the rest of the night, but I hope you all enjoyed. Have an amazing rest of your day.